Barbie sensationally beat Taylor Swift's The Era's Concert Movie to an award at the 2024 Golden Globes on Sunday. The Margot Robbie Ryan Gosling blockbuster faced off against Swift's film in the new Cinematic and Box Office Achievement Award, with Barbie coming out on top. It also won out over Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 3, John Wick, Chapter 4, Mission, Impossible, Dead Reckoning Part 1, Oppenheimer, Spider-Man, Across the Spider-Verse and the Super Mario Bros. movie. Robbie, 33, and director Greta Gerwig, 40, rushed to the stage along with the cast and crew to accept the award, while Swift was a gracious loser as she led the standing ovation. Margot said, Thank you. We would like to dedicate this to every single person on the planet who dressed up and went to the greatest place on Earth, the movie theaters. Thank you, and thank you to everybody, all the Barbies and Kins in front of and behind the screen. It was the greatest, most joyful show of craftsmanship and passion I've ever seen. And on behalf of Tom and David and Robbie and I, we want to thank the brave individuals at Warner and Mattel for taking an extraordinary risk and literally inventing numbers to justify greenlighting this, and then standing by at every step of the way. Thank you to Noah Baumbach for showing his inner Barbie girl. Thank you to Ryan Gosling for going full beach. And America Ferreira for showing her soul. Margot concluded her speech by thanking the award show for creating the new category which recognizes a film with a box office receipt total slash gross of $150 million, of which $100 million must come from the U.S. domestic box office and or obtain commensurate digital streaming viewership recognized by trusted industry sources according to the Golden Globes. Last but not least, thank you so much to the Golden Globes for creating an award that celebrates movie fans. This is a movie about Barbie, but it's also a movie about humans. We made it, it's about you. We made it for you and we made it with love. Thank you for loving it back. The fantasy comedy features Robbie as Barbie and Gosling as Ken as they embark on a journey of self-discovery following an existential crisis. Emma Stone triumphed as she earned best performance by a female actor in a motion picture, musical or comedy for Poor Things at the 81st Golden Globes. The 35-year-old actress received a standing ovation as she won over Alma Poisty, Fallen Leaves, Fantasia Barino, The Color Purple, 2023, Jennifer Lawrence, No Hard Feelings, Margot Robbie, Barbie, and Natalie Portman. May-December Matthew McFadden was the first person in the succession cast to earn a Golden Globe on Sunday evening. The 49-year-old British actor beat out two of his castmates on the highly popular HBO series to win Best Performance by a male actor in a supporting role on television. During his acceptance speech he said, Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I just adored every second playing the weird and wonderful human grease stain that is Tom Wamsgans. Tom Wamsgans, CEO, I should say. God help us. My love and thanks and admiration to Jesse Armstrong, as always and to all Eric's ordinary writers. I'm too scared to name them all because I'll forget someone and I won't sleep. To Adam McKay, Francie Mayslike, HBO, wonderful directors and producers, and of course our gorgeous crew and cast who I miss very much. Thank you. This was Matthew's first ever nomination and win at the Golden Globes as he was recognized for his work as Tom Wamsgans. Matthew beat out some familiar faces in castmates Alan Ruck and Alexander Skarsgård in addition to Billy Crudup. The Morning Show, Eben moss Backrack, The Bear, and James Marsden, Jury Duty. Later on in the evening it was Kieran Culkin who earned Best Performance by a male actor in a television series, Drama. Divine Joy Randolph took home the coveted first win of the night in the female supporting actor in a motion picture for her work in The Holdovers. The 37-year-old actress was emotional as she was presented the gong by Angela Bassett and Jared Leto. Robert Downey Jr. took home the second win of the night in the male supporting actor in a motion picture category for Oppenheimer. Fellow Oppenheimer star Killian Murphy won the best performance by a male actor in a motion picture, drama, beating out Andrew Scott, All of Us Strangers, Barry Keoghan, Saltbin, Bradley Cooper, Maestro, Coleman Domingo, Rustin and Leonardo DiCaprio, Killers of the Flower Moon, Oppenheimer also scooped Best Director for Christopher Nolan and Best Motion Picture, Drama.